Welcome to the video tutorial for the SEO XML parsing tool. This tool takes validated Department of Revenue XML data and processes it into a DBF file that will facilitate joining to your county's parcel geometries. Please note that this tool only works for versions 10.1 through 10.3 of ArcGIS. In this tutorial, we will show you how to navigate to the tool, configure and execute the tool, and show the final DBF output that you can then join to your parcels. We will assume that you have already downloaded the tool and placed it in the directory of your choice. Navigate to the directory you place the unzip file in and identify the tool that pertains to your ArcGIS version. Here's the directory where I placed my tool. If for some reason you don't see the toolboxes there, go ahead and refresh the directory and they should appear. The zip file you downloaded also includes two sample XML files that can be used to test the tool and that we will be using for this example here. I'm using ArcGIS 10.3, so I'm going to use this tool. This tool takes three mandatory parameters and two optional parameters. The first parameter takes the directory of your XML data. In our case, it's called XML test. So we're going to go ahead and drag that directory into the first parameter. The second parameter is the output file geodatabase where you'd like this table to be created. We're going to use the XML test results file geodatabase. So go ahead and drag that into the second parameter. I'm going to go ahead and name in the third parameter the output table. Below where you named the new output table that will be created are a set of optional parameters that allow you to clean the local ID 1 field. Local ID 1 often contains various hyphens and numeric separators. In some cases, the parcel geometries, if this is the field that you will use to join, do not contain those hyphens. Using these parameters, you can select what character you would like to remove from the field and what you would like to replace it with. In our case, we're going to replace the hyphen and we're going to replace the hyphen with no character at all. If you do not want to replace any characters, just enter none into both of these fields. At this point, we're going to go ahead and click the OK button and run the tool. All right, our new DBF has been created. If you navigate over to the directory, if you close the tool, and then navigate over to the directory, you can see the newly created table. Opening the attribute table in ArcGIS and ArcMap, you can now get a good view of the output table. Here is the original local ID 1 field and the new cleaned local ID 1 field that you can then use to join to your parcel geometries. If you have any problems or questions, please refer to the Troubleshooting for XML Parsing Tools section of the Tool Guide. A link to this tool guide can be found in the description portion of this video. If you are unable to find a solution, please don't hesitate to contact Cody C. or David Vogel at the State Cartographer's Office. Their contact info is also available in the description section of this video. Thank you very much.